Well, hello. In my last blog, I wrote about neuroscience and gratitude and how there's proof that when we think positively, when we go looking for that which is working in our life, it actually changes our brain chemistry. And, it, and, and of course, if our brain chemistry is changed and it changes those neurons and all kinds of good things get activated, it changes how we behave, how people respond to us. Well, the same thing is true. This is my belief. It goes very hand in hand with the visioning process. I'm going to say this, at least the way I do visioning, because I have been um, excited about this one ritual for as long as I can remember. It was one of the very first personal growth, spiritual um, exercises that I ever learned. And it was so powerful. I don't even remember where I learned it. I don't, I don't, because it goes back to my early twenties. I think I remember getting some information about there's a way that we could hold, look at what we wanted for our future and then take action to make it a reality. You know, that's, that's how I believe visioning. It works at its best. You tune in to what's in your heart and your soul in your mind as well. <laughs> you tune in to the whole body, everything here, you get information, you see what excites you. There are some questions that you might ask yourself, like, well, what do I really want? What's important to me? These are the questions we coaches love to ask. But there's something about visioning that makes possibilities. It like opens the door for new possibilities because we go, oh, especially with the new year coming, there's new things I can do. I know it's just one day turning into a next. I get that. But there's something about it that we've all bought into anyway, that there's a, a new possibility. So I think it's the ideal time to take time to really see what you want to create next. So Curtis and I do this every year. Uh, I don't know how many years we've been doing it. We did. We, we, it's been at least eight. I'm going to say maybe 10 <laughs> years that we've been hosting a visioning workshop because it's something we love to do. And I feel so inspired about it and passionate about it that I believe that when people come together and we're, I'm kind of holding that container for that possibility, it makes it more probable. So we're doing this. We're doing it virtually December 12th from 10 to 12 Pacific time on Zoom. All you have to do is sign up and you'll get a link. There's actually going to be a part two to this visioning. We're going to have a, a little bit longer retreat in January, but you have to come and be a part of this one first. <laughs> I'm just giving you a little teasing there because in the second one, we're going to do some art projects and um, a little more fun, creative work. In this one, I'm going to help. I'm going to help you take a look at what worked for you in 2022. What you want to say? That's done in this year. I don't want to do that again. Learn my lesson, and take a look at your coaching business, all the elements of it, and you as well, and really look at what is it you want to create for yourself, so you can be very intentional about it. You can make a plan around it. You can keep it as inspiration, and you can get into action. You know, if you know me at all, you know, that's the thing I love to do is help you get the dream clear and then get into action. So I hope to see you at our vision workshop on December 12th.